Alright, so my previous video regarding the Black Dragons got a lot of attention and I'm still getting a lot of notifications from you all regarding that video. My YouTube notifications keep increasing. But with all of that being said, there are two key subjects I want to quickly cover in this video as an extension of that previous video because these are two subjects that kept being repeated by the comment section. So the first one is all about why I don't use the term forbidden monsters when I talk about the black dragons and the other one is why I added Safi Jiva in that video. Let's go ahead and take a look as to why I don't first use the term forbidden monsters when describing the black dragons. The main reason I personally didn't use the term forbidden monsters is due to the fact that this terminology originated from a golden rule that Capcom made in early generations of Monster Hunter. The rule basically forbade Capcom staff from ever acknowledging the existence of the Black Dragons. Therefore, they made no attempts to create any kind of promotional material that would expose the Black Dragons to the game's community. No social media posts, no official artworks or renders, no website materials, nada, nothing. The only time this rule was ever broken was in Tribe, where they showcased a full playlist of every monster's intro, including that of Alatreon. However, outside of this one single time, they never made any kind of acknowledgement regarding the existence of the other Black Dragons. So that means that at Capcom, the staff were literally forbidden from talking about these monsters hence Forbidden Monsters. However, when Capcom celebrated the 15th anniversary of Monster Hunter in 2019, they also lifted the ban that stopped them from talking about the Black Dragons. During this time, the Monster Hunter series exploded with promotional material surrounding the Black Dragons, with Capcom going as far as to create a real-life display of the Fatalis Eye during an event in Tokyo. From this point on, the Black Dragons were no longer forbidden monsters because the staff were no longer forbidden from talking about these creatures. If you want more information on this subject, I highly recommend watching Gaijin Hunter's video on forbidden monsters as they cover more details of how Capcom made the initial rule before the 15th anniversary event of the series. Alright, so for this next segment, a lot of people kept saying I did something wrong regarding the Black Dragon video by adding Safi Jiva on the list because it's not a Black Dragon, it's a Red Dragon. It does not belong in the group. It's a rival to Fatalis. Well, it being a rival to Fatalis does not have to be mutually exclusive to it being a Black Dragon. That can still be a thing. However, the main part I really want to showcase here is how Capcom designed the Safi Jiva as a Black Dragon from the very beginning, but they merely gave it a color swap. Where do I get my information from? Well, I didn't get it from some fandom website. I got mine straight from the source. I got it from the holy bible that is the Dive to Monster Hunter World Iceborne book. This big thick book of Iceborne lore and development diary. This showcases that Safijiva has always been designed as a black dragon. Now, I'm not going to filter through the pages physically here, but I'm going to show you what part of the Safijiva pages describes the Safi Jiva as a black dragon with this production note right here first and foremost. As it states, Safi Jiva was designed originally as a black dragon rival to Fatalis. However, when they realized that the majority of the most powerful monsters in the series tend to have a black coloration, they wanted to do something different for Safi Jiva with the keywords red dragon. That's the reason why it had a color swap from being a black dragon. Alongside this, they made sure to create it as an adult version of Xenojiva to surprise the players. That's the reason why you can see the crevices of the sensory organ of the Xenojiva when you break the Safijiva horns. If you want more evidence regarding Safijiva being designed as a black dragon, take a look at this two-page spread right here for the concept art of the monster. As you can all see, it was originally designed with a black coloration until they ultimately decided to give it a color swap with the red coloration instead. This is something that they did for both the Crimson and White Fatalis in previous Monster Hunter games. So it's not an exclusive thing that they did for Safi Jiva to give it a different coloration, but still treat it as a black dragon. So hopefully that gives you all the information that you need regarding Safi Jiva being a black dragon in the Monster Hunter series. Another fun fact I want to quickly add regarding Safi Jiva is that during its initial release in Iceborne alongside the Stygian Zenogre, they actually treated it as a forbidden monster. Now, what I mean by this is that 
they released the Stygians and Ogre alongside the recon mission for Safijiva, but they made no announcements regarding the Red Dragon. There was no social media post, there was no YouTube video, there wasn't even a website material for it. All we had was a small teaser during the trailer for Stygians and Ogre, and that was it. This update features the mature form of Xenogiva. We purposefully withheld information about it last time and focused instead on Stingens and Ogre. But the true piece de resistance all along was Xenogiva. So, what can you expect from this monster? Let's lift the curtain. So for that short time frame between the initial release of the recon mission and the release of the 4.5 developer diary for Iceborne, Capcom treated Safijiva as a forbidden monster. Alright, so hopefully this gives you all better context as to why I didn't use the term forbidden monsters when I made my previous video regarding the black dragons and why I added Safijiva on the list as well. Having said that, however, this information could change in future depending on how Capcom approaches the entire group. As of this moment in time, there is no official name for the entire group of Black Dragons. We simply call them by the community name of Black Dragons or Dangerous First Class Monsters, or in this case, you could still call them Forbidden Monsters, but that's not the official name for them as of right now because Capcom hasn't made an official name for them. And with regards to Safijiva, as of this moment in time, Capcom treats it as a black dragon. However, moving forward in the future of the series, with for example Monster Hunter Wilds, they could treat it as something completely different. That is still a possibility. So, with all of that being said, what do you think about the information we've covered here so far within this video? Do let us know in the comments below your overall thoughts and opinions regarding the two subjects we've covered here today and any other details you might want to share that you've found yourself regarding the Black Dragons of the Monster Hunter series. And as always, if you enjoyed these videos, please consider hitting the like on the video itself and subscribing to the channel as well as hitting that bell icon so you can go ahead and catch up on any other content that I might be doing in future. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks ever so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Onward and upward.